right, well, we're here still at the Museum of American Speed, yep. looking over one of Kenny Detweiler's creations in yep. George Poteet's hot rod. This is actually probably the, this car probably wrecked at a higher speed than anybody's ever wrecked that and lived. And Tell survived. about it, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So George was going over 350 miles per hour when this thing got sideways and rolled, but now it's back together. It's in its race shop. And the new car is way safer. So from Much now safer. on, the gold one's going to be running. But yep. this thing has tremendous history. You know, want to talk a little bit about it? Yeah, well, I think they own all the records A through D. Yeah. And Kenny's built all the engines. When mm -hmm. I still lived in Los Angeles, my, my one regret for moving away from Los Angeles and being away from Kenny Duttwiler's shop, because yeah. every time you go there, you learn something and just I remember one of the, he had one of the turbo motors on there one time and I wanted a shot of the exhaust glowing and he goes, oh, I'll just rich it up, pull the timing back a little bit and park the motor at about five grand and everything just glowed red. It was so much fun. And when you go there, it's not this big palatial place. It's no. this little tiny shop at the end of Look. a little alleyway. And it's like, first time I went there, I was like, am I in the right place, you know? And he's inside tinkering on stuff. And, and he's just and he's just a wonderful, wonderful gentleman. No, he and Margie are just amazing. You go there, yeah. it's like a six bay, you know, line shop, mm -hmm. right? Looks like mm -hmm. some yeah. somebody works on cars. There'll yeah. be a few signs, like a couple of really nice Grand Nationals stuck out front and stuff. And you yeah. go, well, this is odd for this little shop. Mm -hmm. You go in there and this room, it's got this Fru Dino set up with all his own controls and everything. It's, that, it's, that Ed Taylor helped right. him put together. It was yeah, kind of Ed a Frank Frankenstein Dino. <laughs> Ed Taylor helped build this thing. It looks like Darth Vader's bathroom. It's got every possible control you want on this. And you're talking about him parking the motor. So, you know, when I was a kid, I actually worked for George Poteet at NSA when really? I was back in college for a couple of years. So I know I'd known George for a while and I heard the story and I love it. It's one of my favorite Kenny stories is, you know, they're testing one of these engines. It makes like over 3,000 horsepower. And so he's loaded this fruit up and he's got everything going and he just steps up from the console and he walks over to his little refrigerator, you know, it's around the corner, yep, yep. bends over, gets a Diet Coke, comes back over there, wipes the lid off, you know, <laughs> sets down, cracks it open, you know, takes a sip. Mm. The whole time, this thing George, this thing is making 3,000 horsepower. It's screaming. Uh -huh. It's doing its whatever seventh gear pull or something like right, that. Right. George Poteet has become possessed. <laughs> he's jumping up and down in the air. He's <laughs> flailing his arms. He's ye yelling like anything, you know, and, and Kenny in perfect Kenny style. Yeah. And I don't know this is 100% true, but I've heard it from two people. Okay. He pulls back the throttle. And George is going and going. He's like, are you finished? And he goes, well, yeah. I said, let me get this straight. I'm a dummy, right? And George's like, yes, that's the dumbest, most irresponsible thing you've ever seen. He goes, well, I've got this here on the dyno. I've got the MoTeC looking at all the air fuels. I've got knock sensors on this thing. I've got it instrumented, everything. As soon as it detects anything off, it's going to Yank shut it down. Yep. If it detects fire, the fire system could come in and pull the room. Mm -hmm. Everything in here can do it quicker than I could possibly do it. And I'm here in a safe test environment and I'm an idiot. <laughs> You're about to go out in the salt with this thing, <laughs> making the same 3,000 horsepower. Right going behind 400 you. 400 <laughs> something miles per hour, right behind you. If it grenades oil and shrapnel going to your back tires, you're probably going to die. Mm. Now, which one of us is the idiot? <laughs> It's <laughs> great stuff. <laughs> and, and, and that's probably the most excited Kenny would ever get. Exactly. Because and, he's and, the and, most demure guy. And, and he said that. And trust me, I had way more inflection <laughs> in my voice. Yes, yes exactly. And he was just like, like a college professor going, so I'm doing this and I'm dumb, but you're going to do that. Yeah. And you're smart. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. Kenny told me this story that they, they'd set the record for the A class. Yeah. But SETA wouldn't give them to him because the engine was too small. So they had to build a big block yes. that was over, what was it, 500 cubic inches? Yes, which they had a hard time. They made the new car so it, it wouldn't fit it. this car. And like if you yeah. look at this car real carefully, you'll see like these bolts and everything. This whole section comes out so they can remove the engines. But the turbos on this and other stay actually part the of the car. car, and they stay with the car. So you can go in here, you set one record. If the salt's really good, you put the big motor in yep, it. Yep. If the salt's really cruddy, you put the little motor yeah, in it. Yeah. You go figure out which which motor is going to do best. And, then, and it's funny, the, the little motor has a bigger cam in it than the big motor. Really? Yeah, because the little motor is super high RPM. High RPM. Yeah. Well, one of his theories that we talked about this one time was cylinder pulses per length of either length of time or, yeah. or distance traveled. And his idea was if you build a small displacement motor and you spin it and you have 
far more efficiency yeah. than than a bigger motor, and you spin it faster. Which one is actually going to make more over over the distance? How much is going to make more power? The little motor would actually make more power, which was why they were able to set the record with a smaller displacement motor. And FCTA said, "Nope, you got to have a big big inch motor to set the record," which they did. But the theory held true, yeah. and and I mean, you see the the displacements as they come down. You know, the car does not go quite as fast, but the theory is there. You know, to think about everything Kenny's meant through our sport, whether he was involved with all kinds of engines, all kinds of fun things. Buick V6s really put him on the map. Buick put him on the map. Then yep. you had Race and Jason. You mm -hmm. had this car. You've had the salt rail stuff that he does over in Dubai. He does yeah. so many neat things. Yeah. What an amazing human being. What a wonderful person. But, you know... Thankfully, we get to have with this some of this is Andy work yeah. here. Hands on. Great, Great Hands to on. talk about what's going on here, and you know, just pan over it and take a look at what how much air this thing can move in. Oof. What an amazing vehicle. Yep. Well. Thank you for joining us here. We've had a great time at Museum American Speed. Great to be represent the Engine Builder Hall of Fame. 